Taco Bell, can I get for you? Hi, do you guys do the chili cheese burrito? Yeah. Um, can I do one of those? Of course. And then let me do a second one, and then can I do that grilled with potatoes, jalapenos, and the red strips? Is your skin look crack? Yeah, that looks great. Five eighty-seven, your first one though. Thank you. They actually have it. All we gotta do is show a little class, a little sophistication, and we're in like a dirty shirt. Got this gift card. There we go. As far as fast food excitement goes, this is the pinnacle. You guys, hello, welcome back to Sean's first time eating. You have a massive erection. Thank you, have a good day. <laughs> so I am in Bowling Green, Ohio, my fiance's hometown and I'm here visiting family for the holidays and wouldn't you know it I haven't been able to find the Cholito the chili cheese burrito from Taco Bell anywhere in Michigan or Illinois and wouldn't you know it Bowling Green Ohio in Northern Ohio apparently still sells the chili cheese burrito this is even what the app says when you find it it's just chili and cheese nothing else and just like most things this is an item that people loved from Taco Bell that they took away nationally. In 1990, Taco Bell introduced the chili cheese burrito. But in the mid 1990s, Taco Bell dropped it entirely from its national menu. Nobody beats the taste of Taco Bell. And nothing beats a Cholito. Zesty beef and tons of cheddar. Come and get the taste you crave only at Taco Bell. But despite its national disappearance, according to Thrillist, Taco Bell's in places like Ohio, Minnesota and St. Louis, Missouri have still retained the item. I've heard a lot of people think it's just their ground beef and then their red sauce mixed together, but nah. -uh. It's a special blend of chili only created for a minority of stores. And I found it in today's video made possible by Becky and Tom Chilito. <laughs> no, Kelly Clarkson. Dining room table for a very special day on a holiday meal. I've never had this. In the mid-1990s, I was really only eating soft tacos. I was a very picky eater at a very young age. So I decided to get it as is, obviously, and then the zhuzhur that I am, I like to zhuzh it up. I got it grilled with some other stuff, you heard it. So we're gonna try it their way, and then we're gonna try it my way. I'm gonna do one of the more dumb things you can do. Dumber, if you will. This thing was $2.29. It's a ripoff, but Tom bought me a $25 gift certificate, so I ain't complaining. I'm gonna cut it in half just to show it because, ooh, it kind of looks like the skillet queso at Chili's. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's not, I don't think that is just beef and red sauce mixed together. It's got something else. Oh, here's what we're working with. Literally just cheese and chili. Don't you glob on me, globby bites. And then here is the grilled version. I mean, it looks great. They do not charge you to grill it. Traditionally, no charge. It takes one extra second. And then here's the cross section with the potatoes, jalapenos, and crunchy red fiesta strips. I think Ohio might have it because like chili in this region is very important to people. Like Skyline Chili, based out of Cincinnati, dogs up in Toledo, like Tony Paco's and Rudy's, like chili here is a big deal. So I get them keeping it here. So here we go, my first time ever having a Cholito, a chili cheese burrito. This thing back in the 90s was 59 cents. We in 229-ville now, cool. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, it kind of tastes like Oh my god, it tastes like skillet queso from Chili's. It's so simple. What's wild, I thought it was just gonna be a tube of goo. Like how Taco Bell is the goo capital of the world. <laughs> Something with the spices and the chili, it's like not gooey. The chili has some grit to it. I got fire sauce packets, but I don't even think I'm gonna use them. I get the hype. Mmm. So here's how to check if your Taco Bell has these. I went to the landing page on the Taco Bell website. I added one of them to my cart, and then I picked which Taco Bell I wanted to go to, and it'll 
keep it in the cart if they have it. And if they don't, it'll say, this location does not make this item or something like that. Mmm. That's so much better than just like the refried beans. Like I don't mind Taco Bell's beans. I like their menu. Every Taco Bell in Chicago, uh-uh. All the ones in my hometown, uh-uh. All right, let's get this version, the grilled one. I made it better. A little bit of the crunch of the tortilla, the heat from the jalapeno, and then a little bit more texture from the strips and the potatoes. This is the Shawnee Cholito. Order it like this. So I'll take a Shawnee Cholito. And they'll go, what? And then you'll have to order it normal. <laughs> that is so nice. Mm. Tom, another reason I was so excited about this episode, other than finding this and surprising you, was I'm a burrito guy at Taco Bell. I'm in the minority. People are not burrito people. They're like the tacos, the cheesy gordita crunches, the chalupas, the gorditas, the cheesy gordita crunches, the loaded nacho fries. I'm a burrito guy, and I know that's nuts, but I just love burritos. So the fact that I got to make this for the donation on the vlog, I'm gonna do fire for this last one. Doesn't need it, I'm just gonna enhance it. Feel sacrilegious not using fire sauce. Fab. Get your burritos grilled. And do not be afraid to add stuff. Like, take the 20 cent, 30 cent upcharge. You're not just adding flavor. A lot of the time, you're adding texture to your meal at Taco Bell. Napkins for later, put away the tray. The skillet queso from Chili's growing up was like my favorite thing to get at a restaurant. Like if we went as a family and got that, that was like the height of a month. And the fact that Taco Bell is basically selling that in a, in a tortilla, <laughs> and this is where my future in-laws live so I can get that just going forward in my life. Once again, Tom, thank you. A fun one here today of an item I can't get where I live. If you guys got any Taco Bell hacks for me in the future, like maybe you name something on the menu after yourself, I wanna try it. Donate to the vlog. I'll see you guys soon for a brand new video on this channel. I love each and every one of you. Do the Cholito up, the Cholito down. We did it. Also, these little things are like little robot controlled food deliverers for like the campus over here. So if you order something, the restaurant will drop it in there and it'll just take it to like the dorm or the fraternity or the sorority. Bowling Green, man, at the height of innovation.